This is the Jeff Messer Show on 880 The Revolution. We're going to keep the fun rolling right through the end of the show today, so brace yourselves. Uh, there's actually a lot of fun happening downtown, and it's uh, limited engagement. Just a couple of performances down at uh, our good friends, the North Carolina Stage Company, uh, Kelly from NC Stage, right here in the studio. Good to see you again. Good to be here again. Thank you for having us. Uh, it is it is my pleasure, as always. Uh, we love to talk theater, but this is not, this is like, it's theatrical, but it's also it's so much more. Tell us a little bit about what's happening this weekend yes. at NC Stage. So, as you know, NC Stage often uh, has groups come in uh, that are not the theater. And this weekend we have Impossibilities Magic Show, uh, which is the two guys who do a, a night of magic, mentalism, and mayhem. All it's right. going to be a lot of fun. Two guys doing three things. Yes. Right? yes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> we share the mayhem. Yeah, the mayhem. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a collaborative mayhem. Yes. <laughs> so, so, and uh, Eric, you're one of the uh, the mayhem makers. I am. I provide the mentalism for the show today. Okay, the mentalism. So, yes. you, what is uh, you, people hearing that? You know, they might be getting some impression in their mind as to what that might mean. But tell us, what is yes. what is a mentalist? Well, mentalism. Uh, what a mentalist does, or what at least I do as a mentalist. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Is I use psychology and chicanery to create the illusion of things that are normally associated with psychic phenomenon. Are you sure you're not a politician? I'm for yes, okay. because, because there's a lot of a lot of psychology and chicanery in that that That's area a as well. Career. That's I'm building a, up okay, enough I, money right I, now. I, I, okay. Some grassroots okay. campaigns, you know. I was drawing parallels. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the, there are a lot of parallels. There are. Uh, I, I have a feeling you're probably more successful at it than they are, though. The, at uh, pretending to be psychic or, or the, well, the, no, no, the chicanery. No, the no chicanery, they're, they're very yes. good at the chicanery. Which, yeah. by the way, uh, if in case anybody's wondering at home, chicanery means mischief. Originally, uh, ah. political mischief. There you go. Yes. So See, I could, I, could, I could pretend like I knew that and was making a, a very kind of uh, yeah. I a, pretend to know stuff high level time. joke. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, the bluff is an important part, right? Yes, yeah. bluffing is so important in life. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how did you get into uh, the whole thing of, of being a mentalist? I, 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 yeah. I I'm a progressive radio host. Yeah. And there are only about ten of uh, ten of them in the nation. Really? Like me. I'm sure there are fewer mentalists <laughs> like you. Like, you know, it's like, and, and nowhere was there a box that I could check saying that's, you know, how did you, how did you land in that particular? Yeah. When I made that word up in grade school, they were ah, very surprised. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> now, mental, mentalism is actually a, a very old art form. I believe the, the term mentalist came about in the, uh, sometime in the late 1800s. Okay. Um, it used to mean mentalist meant you were crazy. And then it started to mean. Right. This particular performance art, um, and it evolved from actual psychics. Uh, they would they would do these these tricks, right. right, to convince people they had psychic powers. After a while, magicians caught on and created this whole new branch. Okay. And how I got involved in that is when, long story short, when I was a kid, I had this infatuation with Sherlock Holmes. Right. Okay. I wanted to I, be I, like I can Sherlock get into Holmes. that. Sure. Yeah, I still do. Yeah. I want to be want to be like Sherlock. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, this idea of somebody that can look at your shoes and tell you what you had for lunch. Right. Just amazes me. Uh, I, I used to just obsess over. I got a little older and realized. Okay, maybe you can't do these things. <laughs> right. <laughs> and maybe if you right. try, you're going to offend people. <laughs> Um, yeah. then I hit about 18 and I uh, got into magic. And then from there I got into mentalism, had no idea what it was. And right. I asked other magicians about it and they did, they couldn't, they didn't know either. Frankly, right. they, they couldn't <laughs> direct me to anything. Uh, a guy sold me at a magic store, sold me a book about 900 pages, changed my life. Okay. Uh, I read the first chapter and I realized this is what Sherlock Holmes would do if he was real. Okay. So it's sort of, it's sort of the realization of a fantasy. I get to be Sherlock Holmes for two hours a night. Very cool. Yes. Very cool. So uh, the performance, you're just in town for this weekend. Yep. You Friday, are... Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three performances. Three performances. Uh, although the, there's like a preview tonight or... Uh, yep, there is a preview okay. tonight. Yeah. Yes, which so, you'll be attending, correct? Uh, exactly. Yes. Yes. And um, <clears throat> so very limited engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys tour? Is this uh, just another yes. stop on the tour? Is this kind of the perpetual touring life? Yes. Sort of and Possibilities, which is uh, me and Chris Collins, the magical comedian, is a two-person show. He's the magician. I'm the mentalist. Okay. You know, like I said, we share the mayhem, and it is a uh, it is a touring show. Right now, we we started it a few weeks ago. We've planned this for a long time. Right now, it's just a regional touring show, and if it okay. does well, we're planning on expanding. Uh, but right now, we are doing, I believe, sixteen 
or uh, 11 cities, 16 shows. Okay. So we're just... Uh, and, and regionally, so you guys are regional. based out of the southeast? Or is uh, that, we're uh, based in High Point, the triad okay. area. Oh, okay. So there wherever that is on the just map. Down, down the road. <laughs> just, a, just a ways down the road. Yeah. Okay, so North Carolina, is that where you started out, or are you from uh, from the I'm area? I'm from upstate New York originally. Okay. lived in Ohio for a while, and then I came down here to North Carolina. Okay. Uh, Chris is from Sioux Falls, and then came down here maybe three or four years ago. All right. Yeah. How, how did you guys hook up uh, along the way and, and become a, a dynamic duo? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to talk him into wearing a cape. <laughs> well. He, he won't do it. Uh, well, you know, maybe if you give him the Batman outfit instead of the pixie boots and the, <laughs> the tights, you know. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know why Batman had the yellow on his chest, right? Uh, Target. Target. Yeah. Which explains Robin. That well, that's true. <laughs> yes. Go distract them. Decoy. <laughs> decoy. That's right. So, what was the question? How did we meet? Uh, how did you guys? How did you guys? Speaking hook up? of decoy. Yeah, decoy. Um, um, we met actually through a, a magicians club. Okay. About as goofy as it sounds. Right. Right. <laughs> There's several of them in the area. If anybody out there is interested in magic, uh, you just Google it. Find us anybody in your area. And we were at a local club meeting in the, I believe, Greensboro. Um, and he was just sitting there playing with some cards, just kind of minding his own business, mm-hmm. doing these amazing things, maybe showing off subtly. I'm not uh, sure. Right. You know, and I liked what he was doing. We got to talking, and then somehow we became friends. It was one of those relationships that mm-hmm. sort of just happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't really know when you became friends, but you did. Right, right. And how long have you guys been working together? We've been working together about three years now. Right. Uh, about off and on. I think about after a year of knowing each other. We started doing little things together, and then he brought up the idea of doing uh, this show. We didn't have a name for it initially, right. but it became Impossibilities. Okay. And and how did you guys wind up getting hooked up with NC Stage and deciding to come to Asheville? Uh, I believe we called. <laughs> yes, that sounds right. Just give <laughs> oh us a call, Oh, my gosh, folks. it starts yes. that uh, simply. <laughs> it really does, yeah. We just called and we're like, hey. <laughs> hey we, we got a show and we're coming your way. You know. So, yeah, yeah I, so. I think that's all okay. it was. Probably Chris called you. Um, that sounds about right. Yeah, it was well, probably him that did it because I believe he's he was the one that's uh, actually called a lot of the theaters at least initially. And um, what was the, what was the uh, what was the appeal when when they called? You know what well, what attracted you guys to saying yeah, come on down. This you looks know fun. we have not hosted a magic show uh, certainly since I've been at NC Stage uh, in a while, and so it's an exciting addition to our season. Right. Yeah. It it does stand out. It's like oh. Well, that's cool. That's different. It's it's very theatrical, but it's kind of like, oh, that's new. And right. That's, it seems like a fresh sort of thing to, to go see. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of responses are you getting? A lot of people. Uh, yes. Tickets yeah. are selling fast. So that's, you should get yours great. right away. Yes, do do <laughs> not dawdle. Go faster. Do not dawdle. <laughs> uh, and it is it is a limited engagement. It is, mm-hmm. it is. three performances, uh, yep. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, I'm guessing. Yeah. Friday yes. night, Saturday night, Sunday at 2. So okay. if you got some young kids and you don't think they can do the uh, the seven thirty show, right? You know, come check out the Sunday show. Well, and you know, seven thirty is the go time. Uh, That's Friday correct. And Saturday on Friday night. and Saturday. Yeah. yeah, and it's uh, how long of a show is it? So what's it the, uh, runs? The first time? half runs an hour, then there's an intermission. You know, okay. Because we care about potty breaks. That, that's very important. <laughs> yes. And then it's another thirty minutes. So it's, it's okay. a full evening show. Great. That is, that is fantastic. Fun. What what kind of stuff can people expect uh, when they when they come in? You know, is it or do you want to? Do you want it to be a surprise? Well, we want to keep some of this. <laughs> that's right. Yes. A little bit of a mystery. But you're gonna see you're gonna see magic. You're gonna see really good magic. Uh, mm-hmm. Chris has actually traveled around the world performing magic. He uh, he had a, um, a gig in. Um, uh, Las Vegas for quite a few oh, years. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. he's pretty well traveled. So you're going to see amazing magic. You're going to see amazing mind reading. And I can actually show you a little something. I, yeah, I was going to say you you brought some forks with you, but yeah, I, I don't. I do not see any pie. This is <laughs> so. I, I, I was wondering <laughs> yet. Yeah, yes. we don't see any pie. Chris provides the pie. Oh, yes. I got it. Okay. <laughs> and he didn't come. I can't believe it. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is actually something that I do in the show. So here, okay. go, go ahead and take one of these right. two forks. What? Just one of these two forks. Yeah. And go ahead right, and tap it. Make sure it's a good right. solid fork. Let yeah, the people yeah, at home yeah, know. Yeah. It's. Uh, right. It's a real fork, yeah, right? It's it's a real fork, yeah. Right, take a look at this one too. Go ahead and take right, make sure yeah, it's a good both. fork. In fact, don't actually bend it, but if you want to do this a little bit, make sure it's not made of rubber or anything. Feel free. Yeah, yeah. Is that no, fair? It, it's it's metal. Or yeah. It's a metal alloy. Yeah, yeah. I get it from Costco. About a there, buck. There we piece, go. Yeah, so they're yeah. not that they're not that fancy. Uh, Baker's but it's a real Baker's fork. and Chef's uh, brand. Yes. <laughs> they, yes. On the back, it's got the little imprint. So oh, there perfect. You go. Yeah. And if anybody at home is actually listening while you do this, uh, check your watches, your microwave. Sometimes. Uh, You'll actually see your watch will stop while I'm doing this. I can't explain why this happens. There's something okay. weird about the radio waves. Right. If it does happen, try to do you do call ins? 
We well, we we do. We yeah. Do. If yeah. Any, if you have anything weird happening at home while I do this, feel free to call in and let us know. But all right, go two, and watch two five the two four three four eight. Watch the all fork. Right, okay, right, I'm going right. to focus on it for just a moment. And look, you're going to see something start to happen right there to the bottom tine. What's it doing? It's bending. Look at that. Yeah. I'm not touching the tine, am I? No. I'm just no, holding the fork by the end. a couple end of inches away moving. from you. Here, take yeah, a look. Yeah. All right. Take a look. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Try to shake it back. Right. You know, sometimes it works for people if they're, you know, indigo right, right. kids. Who knows? Who or knows? politicians. Or politicians. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah. Dick Cheney can do this. <laughs> With his mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, it, it, not microwaves, it will cause his pacemaker to. Uh, yes. You've got to be very careful. Something disruptive. All right. So I'm shaking it, but it's not. It's, no luck. It's still, yeah. It's yeah, still, well, here, look, still we'll sticking do, out there. We'll do the same thing to this one, okay? We're going to rub the handle right there. Okay. You see what it's doing? Uh, yeah, the handle is bending upward. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you see that? Just I, by I kind of it. rubbing yeah. it at the weak point, you can see the handle. And go ahead and take a look at that. That's, right? it's, yeah. it's a real fork, isn't it? If somebody it, doesn't believe this is happening. It, it, you, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, just, I mean, Jim, uh, you saw it. It's, I'm, it, it's, it, I'm, it, I'm it, seeing it. Yeah. 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 If you don't yeah, believe yeah. me, just come yeah. to the show tonight. I do it in the, the very beginning of the second wow. half. I explain why I do these things, how I got started. And I will do this. It's a small theater. You're going to be like, 20 feet away yeah, from what, It's a very intimate space. Yeah. And you will, sure. you will see me do this in person. Did you get a receipt for these? Because I Costco. think you should return I, these. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> I'm wondering. You know what I like to do is I like to do that in restaurants. Just scrape uh, the dishwasher. Just le- leave yeah. it behind on the plate. It's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's like, wow. That's, oh, wow. It's got strong teeth. <laughs> All right. So, so metabolically, you've got something going on, or it's truly magic. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess either like, one of those yeah. is well, an impossibility. I, I'm, th- I'm thinking yeah, it's an impossibility. I'm thinking like the TV show Heroes or something. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's just this weird sort of mutation or something. But that that is impressive. I mean, sat right here and yeah. watched it happen, Jim. Yeah. Uh, and you did it. I'm going to give these back to you in case right. they're uh, irradiated or something. Yes, I don't yes. Know. These are actually quite dangerous. <laughs> that's, <laughs> gonna say. that's why I'm so mutated looking. That's what uh, happened uh, to my forehead. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So <laughs> explanations are, are to be found uh <laughs> out there in, in the natural world if you look for them. Sure. Yeah. I just make mine up usually, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> let's uh, but let's take a break here because uh, it's going to take a few minutes for him to straighten these forks back out. Sure. I, I have to rest now after you that. Have to, I, I was going to say, that yeah. looks very taxing. Let's take a break, and then we'll come back, and we'll give everybody uh, the details as to how they can get tickets and uh, sure. the specifics. We'll remind them again, websites and all of that stuff, before we're out of here because we're coming up on the end of the show. It's a great way to end the show because I'm I'm confounded now. Jim, I'm gonna have to go down there and and I'm gonna have to see this thing again and figure and and watch closely and figure it out. All right, so we'll be right back right after this. Revolution. Impossibilities Magic Show, October 3rd through the 5th, Friday and Saturday, 7.30, Sunday at 2 p.m., North Carolina Stage Company. Uh, Eric DeBell, am I saying that right? Dobell, yes. Dobell. Eric Dobell is in the studio with us right now. He just wrecked a couple of pieces of cutlery. Uh, <laughs> well phrased. An example. Yes, there we go. <laughs> giving an example of his, of his skills, and you can see that on display, plus more. I Plus more. Much, much more. Yes. Like I said, you're going to see amazing magic. You're going to see mind reading, psychokinesis. Uh, you're going to see experiments and suggestion. And you're going to see something with a paintball gun and Chris's mouth. Not to give too much away. I, I think you just sold some tickets just on that image alone <laughs> right there. And nobody knows what Chris even looks like. Yes. <laughs> like, everybody knows a Chris that they'd like to see hit Shot with a paintball. In the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it must be. It's a, it's a universal I thing. know one. I work with him. You work yeah. with him. <laughs> And you, in fact, get to do it on a nightly basis. Yes. Actually, somebody from the audience somebody, gets to do it. So the, my, a good question yes. then. Uh, Strangely, so he won't let me do it. Audience, I wonder why. Audience participation, though. So Lots this of is, it. Yep, so yep. tons and tons. So be prepared. If you're, so be prepared. We it, break the fourth yeah. wall. It's yeah. we, we don't play to the audience. We play yeah. with the audience. So if, if you're shy and reluctant, you should be sure to get tickets at the back? Or do you guys? Yeah. Uh, Actually, you know, know, people do that. They get tickets in the back thinking they won't get chosen. Oh, um, I'll right. give you I'll give you guys the, the hot tip here. Okay. Um, we generally don't pick people in the front because right. they're in the front. They're a little too eager. We go 
yeah. about mid or back. Sometimes we pick people in the front. Yeah. Uh, but what I personally mostly look for, I look for a lot of different things, actually. But if the person is really enthusiastic about getting on stage, I avoid that. Uh, yes, it's the over-eager <laughs> thing. It's is the over-eager. Yeah, yeah. This happens like clockwork. You get the over-eager person on yeah. stage, and they clam up instantly. Right, right. Yes. The, the, there's that or the, the over-eager thing goes They the try to take mile. over. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So if you don't want to be on stage, act like you want to be on stage. Uh, there, there's so much <laughs> psychology at play. It's so yes. bizarre. Yes, hop so up bizarre. and down, shake your hands around. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spray us with water. <laughs> but that, but you, you guys have a a, pr- a pretty good resume here. You've worked uh, mm-hmm. all over the place. Of course, you uh, Las Vegas, South Korea. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. I've I've worked South Korea. That's yes, right. I've been there uh, twice now. I'm going back a third oh, time in December. Okay. Um, how, my, how are audiences in other countries? You know, where English is not the language. How do they react? Well, to in the South show? Korea specifically, I guess I can't really speak of. Uh, of other countries, but in right. South Korea, it's it's similar. Uh, they're a very westernized country. Um, right. It's right. it's actually really interesting there. I went there fully thinking they'd have Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, Elvis, <laughs> all the American stuff, and you, and me. Yeah, yeah. they care less. They have, they have yeah. their own Bieber. They have their own they have their oh. own culture, but it's very American still or Western, I guess. I sure, should say. sure. Heavy heavy so, Western influence. Heavy influence. yeah, a lot of Western influence. But, but the so show they, they the show goes the over way. really well. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it goes okay. over really well. I have to change things a little bit because English is uh, um, a lot of the younger people know English. I'm not going to get into all that. Well, sure, but sure. it's the second language, of course. So right. I have to you know. Talk right. a little slower. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> a, a, a very a fun, adventurous life that you guys lead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sort of yeah, thing. definitely. We try. Yeah. Find something you love and get paid for it. That is the key to success. I yes. Think, that's right. What they say. And you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. It say. feels that way. Is there anything uh, like a website or any place that you would want to send people to if they want to find out more about you guys? Sure. Yeah. You guys just go to impossibilitiesshow.com. Uh, if you're having trouble spelling that, just type it into Google. It will autocorrect it for you. Uh, God love the Google. <laughs> I'm full of tips. Um, but yeah, impossibilitiesshow.com. That's where you find information about us. You'll find me and Chris's separate websites. You'll find videos. You'll find the official blog. Uh, you can follow us on facebook.com slash impossibilitiesshow. And also you can follow us on Twitter at Best Magic Show. No kidding. That was available. That was available. That was really? available. According at to Twitter, we're the Best Magic best Show. Best Magic Show. Yes. That's pretty cool. But more important than that, where can you get tickets That's for right. Give us, yeah. give us the lowdown. If you want to visit us on the website at www.ncstage.org, or you can give one of our lovely box office associates a call at 828-239-0263. That's 828-239-0263 for tickets. And that is Friday and Saturday night at 730, Sunday at 2 o'clock. In the afternoon. And tickets are going fast. We're not okay. just saying that. Right. You do want to hop on these. It's a limited space, limited engagement, yes. certainly. Yes. And uh, a very cool. I don't know that we get a lot of these types of shows in no. Nashville. So this there aren't is a lot of magic shows. Uh, yeah. There aren't a lot of magic shows touring now, period. And I promise you, you're not going to find a touring magic show for 20 bucks. Right. This well, is not going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you, so. Get a, you get a full evening of two performers they know what they're doing. Right. A lot <laughs> of fun. Important. A lot of fun. Yes. Uh, the audience gets involved. I'm sure a lot of laughs, a lot of a lot of and, laughs. And, and thrills oh, and yeah. chills and everything else that goes along with it. That's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I I'm I'm looking forward to seeing uh seeing the show. Yeah, we're looking forward yeah. to you seeing it. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be great fun. Maybe and, we'll pull uh, you up. <laughs> oh dear, well, Okay, whatever. I, 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 you told me the secret, though. You told me the secret as to how yes. to avoid that. Yes. So I, uh, it, You're going to be jumping up and down. Oh, me, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, or you, uh, you have people in the audience wearing bright colored clothing trying to get uh, yeah. picked out and things like that. So, uh, I can see. It can be, it can be prohibitive. Yes. Or, or uh, the random person showing up drunk. It is Asheville. There's a lot of beer in this town. Yeah, you get a lot. Of- <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but I, hopefully you guys will get to spend a little bit of time hanging out and checking out the town, too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to French Broad Coffee Shop, actually, a chocolate oh. shop. Yeah, uh, the, Those yes. matcha powder matcha powder uh, truffles. It's, yeah. uh, it is, is it okay to town. mention that? <laughs> That's fine. That's, no, it, Asheville, there's so much to see and so much to do. It's a Definitely. shame you guys are only here for a few days, but uh, hopefully yeah. you'll get out and get to have a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, we'll here. have some fun this weekend. Uh, give, give folks, before we go here, because we've got about a minute left, uh, give them okay. the website one more time so it's fresh yes. in their minds. Impossibilitiesshow.com. From that website, you can find all of our other links. And, and then for tickets for this weekend, you're going to want to visit www.ncstage.org. And everything's right there. You can read about the show, and you can purchase tickets right there online. Super easy to use website. 
Super easy to use. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Eric, for coming by today. Thank you. Uh, we will see you a little bit later. And Kelly, thanks as always. Uh, Thank you. You you are the uh, the the center cog that makes that machine turn at NC Stage. Oh, you, you you're, flatter me, you're, but you're thank you one. very much. I, I can count on <laughs> I can count on the emails from from Kelly when things are going on. Charlie, he's all over the place, but you you're on the, the money. Life of a, the life of a professional actor. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, we love the folks down at NC Stage. So go out and check them out and uh, go see this great fun show. Fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family. Bring grandma. Bring grandma. That's right. Yes. She, or pick up grandma on the way. The, either way works. You know, somebody Gram- else's grandma. Grandma could be the one firing the paint gun she can be <laughs> this if she has firearm fun. experience sure this could be a lot of fun it really could uh have a, have a great show tonight break a leg i don't Thank know you. if that's the uh, proper uh phrase in, yeah. in magic but uh, yeah well <laughs> break a leg i actually hope not to break a leg yeah exactly yeah that's not why you. I, right. I strut around backstage saying macbeth Mac, there you go yeah. all kinds of uh, tempting fate we'll be back tomorrow folks have a great one 880 the revolution